Official spot, right? This is where I feel very official. All right. Family, friends, faculty, staff, and graduating class of 2018. Yes, yes, get ready for a whole lot of that. Get ready for a whole lot of that. Because if you all came here looking for a, uh, your whole life is ahead of you speech, if you, if you were getting all ready to hear a, the world is your oyster, the world is yours for the taking, the world is waiting for you to begin speech, you done come to the wrong place. Yeah, uh, I suggest you check your Facebook maybe or hit the bathroom because uh, this speech is not for you. No, this is not a your whole life is ahead of you speech. This is a some of you got about maybe two thirds of your life in the windshield, right? <laughs> Half of you got your life in the rear view, but all of you have your life in the driver's seat. This is a I'm changing the tires while life is driving speech. We understand now? We know why we're here now? Okay, it, this is not a, the world is your oyster speech. This is a, mmm, I killed those oysters and they were delicious. What's next on the menu speech? This is not a, the world is yours for the taking speech. This is a, you learned the world was yours for the taking years ago. You maybe just didn't always know how to take it, right? Sometimes you didn't have the time or the skills or the resources to seize your day and shape it. But now you do. Now you've not only taken the world, you have purchased the deed, put a mortgage on it, raised a couple kids in it, and paid taxes on it. Please. You have already taken the world by storm, so this here degree is simply your proof of purchase. Call it your bachelor's receipt. <laughs> this is not a you are young, talented, and facing your truth speech. This is a you are grown, grinding, and got stuff to do speech, an already in hot pursuit speech, a finally got no excuse speech, because we are all full of excuses until we find something that works, right? Right? I mean, we, you know, we will just keep saying, I would totally lose 20 pounds if I could just work out from home. Until we meet a trainer who says, I'll be at your place, 6 a.m., be dressed, right? We love repeating, I would totally save more money, you know, if I wasn't so in debt. Until a credit counselor helps us live off of less like a game of rock, credit card, scissors, right? <laughs> Eventually, something comes along that removes all of our excuses, like I would totally get my uh, degree, you know, if I could set my own hours, Scott. Boom, here's task stream, log in. <laughs> I would totally finish high school if there was, you know, a way to do it from home. Here's a project you can do in your pajamas, just log in. And if I could take classes at night, coffee it up and log in. And if I could finish it in 18 months, start your clock now, log in. And if I got competency units from my job, you work it, we count it. Now log in and start the run. And don't stop until the goal is won, because this is not let's get it started. This is let's get her done. <laughs> See, this school. This is not a starting school. No, 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 no. Where you start stuff again and again. No, been there, done that. No, this is a finishing school. Not to be confused with charm school, 
where you learn how to fold a napkin. No, this is a finishing school where you learn how to hold a degree, right? This is a finishing school that has an adult finishing school at high speed download rates. A finishing school of thought that teaches you how to finish what you start. Made up of not academic advisors, professors, and graders, but tech support, student mentors, and evaluators. Huh? We see students to the end and, and play their ongoing part. They help these tenacious hearts overcome their troubled start. Like first time, fail. Second time, win. First time, second time, fail. Third time, win. Uh, first, third, second, uh, ninth time, fail. But I'm going to finish on the 10th. Because I got a program mentor who was by my side till the end. Even when she calls and I'm not ready, so to voicemail I send. <laughs> she calls again and again to help me create my version of the word win. Which is why this speech is not a you have spent the past four years dutifully striving each semester toward your degree speech. This is a, I don't even know what a semester is speech. I have earned this degree in half the time with double the course load and twice the GPA at half the cost speech. This is not a as you prepare to enter adulthood speech. This is a you are sitting alongside your adult kids. Both of you doing college level homework, get off me, get off me. Stop looking at mine and playing who is going to be first in the family to get this degree. <laughs> this right here, this is not a the world is waiting for you speech. This is the, the world didn't wait up for you, so you put on your hustle shoes and caught up with the world speech. This is a, the world had the nerve to try to tell you what it knows you cannot do. And you look back at the world all confused, and all that came out was, who? See, I don't know if you know this, but that's the legend of how you sages came to be known as night owls, at least my version. In my version, it's not just because you nocturnal creatures were known to start class after kissing your family goodnight. Or because you, you know, because for you, getting dressed for school meant running out for a triple shot caramel macchiato. Or because of how often you woke up at your laptop to find drool on your keyboard and the letter D pressed 687 times across your screen. <laughs> Anybody else been there? Yeah? Okay, okay. <laughs> it is also because your version of the classic owl sound, right? We all know what that sound is, right? Most species of owl, they make the sound, whoo, whoo. But the sound that WGU night owls make is pssst, whoo. <laughs> As in, when you stand facing constant adversity and intimidating odds and the world says you will never overcome this, the night owl says, Psst, who? You must be talking about somebody else. Because even on the odd days, I can't get over it. I go through it till it's behind me. On the days I can't levy the waves, I just learn to surf tsunamis. So adversity ain't nothing but a Thursday night and I am a walking TGIF. When you stand, when you stand face pressed against the dark of night and the world says, you know, uh, it's statistically unlikely with your maturity and your responsibilities that you will ever find your way through this darkness to a degree. The night owl says, who? I know you ain't talking about me because the fire in me has burned bright enough to light my path through raising four kids, surviving three hurricanes, serving two tours, and enjoying one heaven of a life. So as far as I'm concerned, I am the light at the end of the tunnel. See, you all are not your average students, which is why this is not your average commencement day speech, in case you didn't notice. These are not your average day commencement gowns you're wearing, right? All pristine and unblemished. Nah, that's not us. Uh, your gown, 
your gown has dish soap and sauce stains on it from all the nights you came home after work to find a raggedy pot of hamburger helper on the stove and a mostly clean kitchen, courtesy of your loving husband and son who are stepping up that chore game so that you can get right to your coursework and get that business degree. And your gown, your gown has, has camouflage fatigue stitched into the lining for the many nights you spent faithfully serving your country that sometimes felt like a cakewalk. compared to the battlefield of passing clinical microbiology. <laughs> I feel you. We are each robed in the gowns that tell our story as we congregate today. Even me, even me, because in case you hadn't noticed, this here is not your average commencement day speaker. No, this is poetic voice. And I understand most of you don't even know what that means. When I introduce myself, as a, a full-time poet, most people look at me like I said, hi, my name is Sefu, I'm a full-time mermaid, nice to meet you. <laughs> I understand, I understand, poetic voice was my vision, the model that I wanted to create, right? The answer to people asking me, well, are you a speaker or an entertainer? Yes. Is this business content or performance? Absolutely. And the world didn't have a space for that answer. And so I had to create one, combining inspirational speaking seamlessly with spoken word poetry. So you don't know where the storytelling ends and the comedy begins and the content ends and the theater begins, right? It becomes this one seamless experience that is a new model, a new language, a new word for the world. And that takes you being strong enough to push through even when the world doesn't see you. The you that you see, I know what all of y'all are going through, trust me, I know. it. All of you guys that are getting your degrees right out of high school, I know. I graduated from high school and I went straight to college. Typical four year in the university, a four year university and, and got my degree and I actually stood on, you know, shout out to Roshan, I stood up and was the commencement day speaker, speaker at my college. Talk about foresight, me not knowing that this was ultimately gonna become my career path. So I understand what it means to go straight through. And those of you who are changing careers in your 30s, I know you. I know you. Listen, I, I, I was a, a, a fifth grade teacher. If you think you got it hard trying to become a fifth grade teacher, trying to shift your life in your 30s to become a fifth grade teacher, try shifting your life in your 30s to quit being a fifth grade teacher and become a full-time poet. You try that and then come talk to me about hard. Okay? And for those of you in your 40s and your 50s and beyond, I know you. Getting the late start. Everybody looking at you like, really, that's what you, that's what you trying to do this time of life? That's what you, you just gone, you didn't want to, earlier, you didn't think about doing that when you, like back when we was all doing it, you didn't want to do it then? Like, this is where you're going, when you should be relaxed, you, you're going to go to work now? When you should be, you're going to study now? You, you're doing the top ramen college student thing, really, at 40? And th that's, I don't think it's going to work out for you. I know you, because here I am. Way too many decades on my driver's license, way too much pain in my back, way too much slowness in my metabolism, and I'm still just trying to start having my family right now with my wife. At my age, beginning a family. And everybody's saying, really? That's what you want to do now? That's what, back when, I'm, I'm going to be, what that means is I'm going to be going to the graduation, the high school graduation of my godson while picking up pampers for my son. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? How difficult this concept is and the world is telling me no and, 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 and statistics are telling me no and biology is telling us no. But we push through even after the setbacks, even after the struggles, even after the adversity, even after the opposition, even after the heartache and the losses and the losses again, and the losses again, we push through. And I'm here to tell you that this is what I do because I'm hardwired just like you. All I know is first time fail, second time win, and maybe first time, second time fail, but third time win, and baby, I promise, first time, second time, third time, fourth time fail, but fifth time, sixth time, tenth time, we will win.
in. This is how we are wired. It is all that we know. And I'm here because I got a little bit of a night owl in me too. When the world tells me I can't do it, I tell the world, Psh. Ooh. I will achieve my dreams even with the obstacles and the heartache. And it may not be the same path that everybody else took, right? It may not look like the traditional version of success, right? It may be that first time, third time, fail, fifth time, win. But I tell you what, that's fine. That just means that sometimes, you know, life passes. And sometimes our version needs revisions. And that's all right. So if it sounds like I got something to prove, let's be clear. I do. Just like I did with creating poetic voice proving to the world that I can create a new model that doesn't exist, just like Western governors did when they saw, you know, this internet thing, I think it might be catching on. <laughs> Let's prove that we can build a new model for education that is more affordable and accessible, just like all of you all did when your boss said, oh, so you think your promotion material? Prove it. When your kid said, so you think a degree is achievable for me? Prove it. When the statistics said, you think you can be the exception to our rules? I tell you what, the proof is in the pudding. Which is why when each and every single one of you graduates hears your name echo through the loudspeakers today, I want you to step into these aisles like they are pudding fashion runways. I want you to strut across this stage looking like a homemade, fresh out the pot bowl of tapioca. Huh? If you in this room, you better stride past us looking like grandma's banana pudding. I'm talking about with vanilla wafers and no brown bananas. You know what I'm talking about, right? And if you at home, I want you to get up and walk around your living room like your shoes are made of Tia's homemade flan. Uh, and if you are coming up here on a crutch or a cane, that's made of butterscotch pudding, baby. If you in a wheelchair, you roll up here looking like key lime pudding. I want all 8,000 of you, whether you are here or at home, to walk into your next chapter looking like Louisiana bread pudding with Mexican chocolate topped with caramel bananas and vanilla bourbon sauce. And if you feel like this speech is starting to make you kind of hungry, <laughs> you're wrong. No, that hunger, that's been in you long before I ever showed up. That hunger is what got you through, constantly hearing the voices of families and friends and bosses. You, you never come out with us anymore. Daddy, how come you're always so tired? You have to work again? You're late to work again. Let me guess, you got to study. Uh, you can't pass that course. You're not that smart. Dear God, please let mommy hurry up and get her nursing degree so she can come home and be my mommy again. And don't worry, because today is no longer about the hunger. Today is finally about the feast, feasting on the fruits of your labor today as you celebrate finally getting to be mommy again, an even better version, and be husband again, the new and improved version, and be employee again, the newly promoted version. Today is not about the thirst, today is about the toast, about raising your glasses with the parents and the cousins and the second cousins and the sons and the daughters and the friends and homies who supported you and listening to them tell you how proud of you they are because they are, aren't they? Yes. Listen to them. Listen to them. Today is about celebrating the harvest of your hard work at this college of IT that was built working hard for the working, this college of health professions that grows students who are grown, this teaching college that grinds out degrees for those on their grind, this college of business that lives to help those who have lived this 
finishing school that works to no end to help students reach the end where students graduate and don't finish like stop, they finish like win. They don't stop or say win, they only stop at the end long enough to toss their cap, have a party, and then begin the next chapter of their journey, this time stronger within, with the skills to know how to fall and get back up again, to hold your head high because you stay lifting your chin because you've proven that even your best version can better itself again. So this is not a speech to celebrate the first version of you. This is a speech to celebrate you, point two. I'm talking update and repeat like you, point three. Upgrade to even more like you, point four. Like up leveled and multiplied, this is you, point five. Surrounded by faculty and staff, kids, dads, and moms who remind you to never stop short but always go long. Helps you finish strong like a bachelor degree made of pure Teflon and night owls boldly telling the word never to bring it on because this is the day you showed us there is no storm you cannot weather. This is the place where you proved there is no expiration on chasing forever. And this is the moment the world finally learned the futility of telling you never because today is when you put the world on notice that your best just got better. Thank you. Thank you all. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations to you. Go get them. The world is waiting. Thank you.